Mimi ngibetu ba sebenzisa ama cucumber for a lot of different things. Eshuka shuka yani njenga ama facials, kukhona ba sebenzisa for ama vitamin booster, kukhona benza ama salad ngawo. Izinto zase scented darling. Lo mlimbo wethu wanamhlanje usiphathele logo and much much more. Zansi ni alas leli kulo elit aungzo tenge li panoi my love hey my dot atinga kulingo bangi apim kuto age lomli mi esiwashanga na na inamshange ukwazi ukutata ngendi zamshin as a pilot agu yese eplazin lake eli nama cucumbers nama limousine kuto pifoni be excited ladies adi use shati lelo mundo. Ukobela mkotwa watola leli plazi iko rima farms kubaba wake. Na yefuti abe el tole kubaba wake. So ain't like sikuluma nge generational wealth la bagwetu. Isebenza ganja loge leyondo. Mzati sesi pagati inside tizo varashela uputi kobela. Ukobela despite ama challenges awa bona yu lanje umlim has made a success of himself. Despite emngane gangaga. Lomlimi agazuti ngukuthi abantu balethe back the land because why he owns the land lakukho nama limousine zakhe asambe sohlangana naye Sao bona puti asenje Liga Liga ngiyaphila Good 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 Bezinxakeke kabila mina bengizwe ukuthi wakhona umuntu oyi pilot manje ngifika umuntu ubala ama cucumber isebenza kanjani ke le ndawo Yeah no that was my uh, previous life uh, before getsa now would lose and sati motsa o bela cucumber yeah uh, yeah so i was uh, flying and uh, yeah it was it was one of those things you know okay. when we decided to to move to to more interesting things la 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 ke manje nina kini kwakwe la kini leli plaza ubalithola kanjani ubaba wakho noma umkhulu wakho ngoba phela ngeyikhathi zakudala kwakunzima ukuthi sibe nsundu sikwazi ukuba ne land ndada umkhulu wakho was uh, forcefully removed from uh, what, what we now call as mainland mainland mm. park but from mainland they were moved to uh, lady selborne from lady selborne but uh, moved into field mm. so uh, my grandfather very entrepreneurial naraga mafatsi how uh, or someone wa rekisa he would jump onto the first offer futhi kobela angikaze mina ngibone ama lokuzana ama cucumber bengingazi ukuthi akhula kanje ngicelwe yongikhombisa kahle ngizana ka mkhara wosinja re level le gore how are they growing cucumber nalo matla ge ya kudimo that's where it gets all the very nice fruits from uh. so generally i was first 9 to 10 fruits ke tsona tse diyang all the way up okay if you could do a big guy we tell her like us so it then it grows down yeah but the, the natural vigor yeah the plant ke ho ya go di so how ga kara le gore di structures a how di all the way 10 meters high uh, it's a natural vigor of the plant sure. so it ga ya all the way go di umfana wase social nguveke kodwa usela yeah usekhulisa i i i shahla za ma cucumber land Wenzeke kanjani leyo nto leyo I was introduced in the agricultural sector by my accounting teacher Nansa na le place ko na go push through Ke be very fortunate because you know uh, my parents who have also played a very big role more my success in this business mm. uh, my mother in particularly who uh, she's a social worker by profession mm -hmm. and part of her work was for I was there go and tlensa go madikwe and then she was partnered with the agriculture research council eh hence that's ama mo le kopane le memo barke erica yeah erica o bile ba start up process ya plant protection ko the agriculture research council and one of them was to do hydroponics so ke bile na ko ke start up ka ka engage le erica le her team ke bona ba bang to sitting to to guide me gore ke fitlhe mo ke le moteng Yazi put kobela mina angazi luso ngama cucumber ngiyaqala nokubona ukuthi akhula abe mangakhe tell me into yodwa ngama cucumber esingayazi thina njengabantu esiwathengayo Yeah also in cucumbers this year 49 days 
uh, from the time give you a bill we are got till I harvest my first cucumber. Wait. Aung kombi su kuti banjani. Sure. Like a one thousand G. So this one was picked today. Eh. Hey. And uh ingwe hape la telang it will be picked ka lavararo. So this week. This week. Yeah. Ah, so ah, every ah, second ah. day for the harvest the cucumber. So hey man. Uchala imbeu. Forty nine days is singala. I know. Enga zuti mali lag ma cucumber ba wait. So I'm exactly seven weeks later. Hey. You'll have your first cucumber, and then every second day you hey. harvest. Yo, I send fundega kulunga ma cucumbers. And in sandu figa la. Uningo ogunye oguningo kufanika sfundi sego na uputkobe la. Koto age gizwa ma hydroponics gizwa log na log gizinga ngaga zengizwa ngazu. Now we am sure our gazu zengazu. So shala lapo kone zostraze la gash. Sila Ekorima Farms. Joban Bonanje, who put Cobella Use Manzi, eh, Cassa Chenzola, Uchubu Manzi, no Cassa Vens. Yes, tough. I'll send you over here. Okay, Alla Wenzuanda, Conan Amins or Sengiz or Sevens. Yeah, more I'll send you the Paddy Cucumbers Arona. Uh, this just gives it a longer shelf life. Say you buy it today, mm. you can still keep it camouflaging for the next uh, week or so. I want to tell you that Nina La Ekaya Nenza Iktiwa e hydroponic farming. Abanye Betu Askaz, this is only hydroponic farming. Yini hydroponic farming. Yeah, hydroponics farming, Kerere Verkisa made it to grow uh, the crop soil without soil. So we use the combination of water and soilless medium. So in this case, we have very few wood shavings. We no set a crop yaw maybe twice or thrice a week. So, but more case in your own now, we are continuously giving water every one and a half hours. Yeah. And that's the reason why the crops are not really so expensive come again. Okay. Simply because of the processor it's young to grow the crops. Yeah. Ngiyabona yeah. kubaninga abantu abasebenza la na Botswana. Bangaka abantu abasebenza la ikai. No, more na more got 12 people by the Rona. Is it full time? Full time. Yeah. I don't do temporary stuff. Mm. Uh, everyone is full time. Ewo munyu mbuze nawo ukuthi how did you access the market? Ngoba farmers are maningi, aninginga yogungena to the formal market. Ngoba that's where you become commercial. Becoming commercial is just a sense of you are making. Um, money of your business. Yeah. So in this case, yes, we are becoming profitable in a sense. Uh, the markets are buying our product mm. at a relatively good price, and that's why we become commercial. Yeah. Yeah. We we'll set up our business in hydroponics. in mm. hydroponics. So that is the negative side. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how do you your your climate? Zanzi, I'm sure that the local neighbors are going to manage local Kuluman and Malimosin, Limosin, and Kulumangan. Neighbors would to launch it. I wish to pet a Macuca Mangala, got on Gale side, La Uica manufacturer ends, a Malimosin, a luxury vehicles. Ha. A Malimosin in Gomo, actually. M Funugay born and I'm not allowed to say the same born. What about Angi? I want to be. We have a lot of work to do. Every fit the mother fits a more will go straight to the limousines. Yes. Peace job at seven. So easily, I'm a limousine. I got in Kulumanga. Yeah, okay. Manje, Kulema breed one Kela. I see now, like South Africa. Why you can't celebrate? Yeah, I've been losing a lot of carcass competitions. Carcass, yes. Carcass uh, competition is when. They judge the animal, the whaling gawana, the, 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 after they slaughter the animal, then they judge the meat and the confirmation of the meat on the right places. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, look, you know, uh, limousines are generally uh, large frame animals. Um, so they eat quite a bit of grass, so a lot of money. Is that a So, Harenzer Zamar, no. 
uh, the area of Moral Limutin, we don't have uh, a lot of space, yeah. so we have to capitalize on the pasture management system there in the land zone. So, um, yeah, that's, that's one of the things that makes the limousine expensive breed to maintain. Manja, the limousine go bang yaz, would see e breed a puma a France. La is a Africa, deep Africa, yashisa lan. Iko paganjan. Yeah, no, you're not so cold, I'll say, NG, because. Uh, more than more, the temperature are all the way to 40 degrees, even higher. Uh, but uh, it's, this one is seeming to be managing very well. Aungjele, umlima as J a farmer, no mawenzani, mo umlimi aksin elula. It's actually very difficult, Lendole. Yin evusa ukopela every single day. Exen inje uti okay, umlimi na namtlang. Naksasa foot se umlim. The only thing that wakes me up in the morning at four o'clock is. How much money can I make today? Mm. It, and uh, what are the opportunities within what I have that I can make an extra buck? Manjela ekai, our servants work. Yeah. Kona usiswako. Yeah. Kunja no servants and I. No, it's excellent. Uh, my sister is a pillar of strength for the business. Kitomiro Bergales is he towards uh, 2011, 2012. Okay. So, yeah, uh, introduction into the business, it changes so many other things. Mm. Uh, I mean, sometimes uh, I'll make an overseas trip uh, for a good four or five months, mm. and I know how my family is going to the business because they've got their best interest into the business. Yeah. This is really a pillar of strength, a peace of mind. I think you're going to be a pillar of strength. Sure. Yeah, man. Hello, Sinjin. Hello, Sinjin. Hello, Sinjin. Hello, <laughs> uh, 2011 uh -huh. and uh, yeah I, I came in with an accounting background oh yes. yes yes does the I'm a deliveries uh -huh. to the retail shops yeah. and then my other sister, the younger sister, does the HR with my mother. All right. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely a family it business. It's a definite family business. Baba. Yeah, ma. Umona indota na ya kole inga ninga ga igwazwenzi zintes mangali saganga ga. How do you feel? No, you know, to be honest with you, I, I feel very proud. Yeah. Because wherever I go, they, they are asking me about him. Yeah, they talk and say, hey, listen, man. Yeah. Your son does one, two, three. And I said, well, let me tell you, we are coming from a family, yeah, the entrepreneurs. Mm. My mother, my grandmother has been an entrepreneur. My old man has been an entrepreneur. Mm. So I'm not in any way surprised. Yeah. Kukumbona, uh, Ayans are almost what they used to do. Mbona. Yeah. Kwa bela ngfunu kubuza wenage manje, you are still young. Uibona ila pile family business ya legacy. E ya shio ubabu wako, ubabu mkulu wako. But kena kanawari, in the next 30, 40 years, Africa should be, or oh, okay, Europe should be, we should be knocking on their doors. Sure. I can seven zileva good. Say, I'll bongum seven zwen. No combis and jabanya bandu buti. Hey, snatch is not free. Gaglaoma, Yakuma levi, la fanana, now put cobe lagans. Yes. Hey, gas would you and accept fun of your kitchen, Melama Maget? Yes. Ah, Sishie, Tinas is of Salalas, Kulumin, go. No yellow walls in Shimonga, me, Nababa. I'm standing cuckoo, the leggy leg a cool, who puts him shamper for neg and army, and tattoo put one gim faggy gloom caca, corner natty palaces of waka in legacy, yaga kumalo, one step at a time. Talking of time, it is time for the mocktails.
Yazim Zanti kung chabli sega kulu ukbona ama siblings e seven zanda wanyi. Gwa pela meba kalelifa, baka ifa lomden wabo. So it's very important and kung chabli si lukbona ukobela nomden wake pulling together ukwa kaleli lifa lag. Eh, gents, I guess no man boni le in guti abona. Gijuje up my mocktails this time. There's something, something happening here. There's something. Yeah, the wanna... cucumbers. It is the cucumbers. This mocktail, it, it even tastes different. It's on another level. Yeah, Bon. Yeah. It's because I must up my game all the time. Are you up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up already. Guys, Emma Kayan Ngakosho, Guti Ngaso Songis Kati, hashtag African Farming, Guma Socials, Kona Nani Nizoba, within the conversation. Ndade, Dr. Taps. Amali Mozinska Kobela, yo Marshling and Bell, Marshling and Bella, and obviously he wants to make sure Uting as a song is Kati, Amali Mozinzake, are we top condition? Connellentity, the five point check. Yin le five point check. So, how do we work a five point check? Uh, now we're touching on the basics of primary animal health. Mm -hmm. What is primary animal health? Uh, primary animal health is a concept of lowering the number of people who are living in the world. From the eye, you can tell a lot. Normally, the people who are living in the world are pale. The people who are white, then you can. There's a problem. Yeah. There's a worm burden. The next step is to say if there's a discharge, either one nostril or two nostrils. Mm. So with the jaw, when I into a ribbit and bottle jaw, my lorry ya ruru a katla sa, katla sa mshahar. So we want to have a powerful thing. Then the problem is that you are not able to consider deworming. The fourth point is what we look at. You know the whole condition of an animal. Uh, we call it body condition scoring. Yeah. Uh, body condition scoring is uh, salu sezang if there's any malnutrition or if powerful how in a hole. The last point, you have to look at the dung, whether you like it or not. Yeah. But looking at the dung can tell you if the animal has eaten plastics or what we call foreign body. Mm. So five point check is very important. Sure. We know that farming comes with a lot of different things that are unpredictable. What he wants to be predictable is a reliable agribusiness partner. Now, what makes eAfri to be that business? Um, AFCRI retail, uh, since NG, we've got 33 branches from KwaZulu Natal, uh, Eastern Free State, uh, Mpumalanga, Nase Gauteng. Mm. We want to be seen as a one stop shop. Absolutely. So, if you go to Ngena, you can find um, chemicals, you know, you can find seed, fertilizer. So, and, and what accompanied that is, is the fact that we've got really trained staff. Staff that knows that a farmer doesn't have time. Mm. When he comes in, ufunungen apum. So our staff is really trained and um, that, makes it, that makes it very easy for them to trade with us. The other thing that we really proud ourselves is the relationship we have with our suppliers. Mm. We've got fuels at our branches as well. Nice. So we need we, we a full package, yeah. the one-stop shop Absolutely. for every up, up, up and coming farmer to, 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 to go and, and visit. Mark, no one can call themselves a farmer without having a tractor. You may be a hydroponic farmer, but you still need a tractor in the farm. You know, he could be using it to go and feed his cattle, maybe to transport the feed, or he could be just hauling crates. I want to know what tractors John Deere have for like an entry-level tractor, you know? It's nice, it's versatile, it's affordable for the farmer. Thank you, Angie. Yeah, and I'm excited to offer our 5D series tractor. Mm. A entry-level tractor, but reliable as can come. And this tractor is coming in different horsepowers. Mm. It's coming in your 45, 55, 65, and 75 horsepower. If saving fuel on it. Um, but this tractor can be used for a lot of stuff on that farm. You can use it for transportation, 
transportation from his cucumbers from the one place to the other store or to his packaging room. He can even use a small plow mm. um, with that tractor. The other, other benefit of this tractor is our dealer network mm. support. With Zondia's network support, the response is very quick to come out if, if something happens. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's cost, cost effective for him. Yeah. And cost effective is very important, especially when you are like Gobela and you are a commercial farmer. You've got no time to waste. Freddie. Yes, this is actually, it's, it's, it's not related really to what Ukobela is doing at the moment. But I've heard, Uguti, there is a problem, especially with uh, herbicides and controlling of those things, especially in the Western Cape where, um, like the rye grass, the rye for grass. example, mm. you know, it's now resistant mm. to being treated. Mm. How does that happen? And how do we as farmers prevent that okay. from happening? Yeah, thanks, Angie. It's actually uh, interesting, I mean, when you talk of uh, ryegrass and how it develops. So uh, the, the level where, uh, where ryegrass is now, it has actually gained uh, herbicide resistance. Mm. And uh, obviously, one would like to understand what is herbicide resistance. Yeah. So herbicide resistance, uh, it is actually the inherited uh, ability of a plant mm to survive a herbicide application that normally, under normal circumstances, you know, uh, control mm. or kill the plant or species of the same, you know, plants. But also, how it happens now, uh, it's more of repeated use of herbicides of the same mode of action. Mode of action is simply, you know, the manner or the way in which a herbicide kills a, a plant. Mm -hmm. Crop rotation also helps. Uh, you have your crop, it's crop A as an example. Next year, if you plant crop B, uh, same field, but these are two different crops. Obviously, maybe crop B uses different herbicides yeah. than the crop A that you use. So in other words, you are actually, you know, disturbing that uh, herbicide resistance. Mm. So it's important to consider that each and every time. This is how it really develops. Sure. Yes. I learned a lot today, especially Ngama resistant uh, Lakuzan. Ama herbicides are resistant. Mzanzi, I hope Uguti we as now Uguti Ngaso song is cut young kid skulumangayola ungaitola kwi African farming magazine. Sikulumengama affordable tractors is in the sea dingayo jingabalimi sikulumange afri uguti agri business ya buitola yonge in dao was jelangaba Mm -hmm. Five point checks, naiba legi leakun, and you learned a lot from Ufreding ama ama herbicides, ama pesticides, no balega ganga na nugu tinjalo when the crop rotation nazin tinjalo. Konge log ungatola gwe magazine yet African Farming Magazine. E information www.africanfarming.com, and of course ungatukuma ngati naso songi skati ngoba pele kuma socials very present over there, and that's hashtag. African farming. Baba is very important. Uti nkumbule, uti we farm better together. Mzanti, aibonani.